To seven, we're in a full week into April and still that snow keeps coming. People are measuring it several inches in the, in the parts of the valley. Many parts of the valley are seeing it and you all know the drill. Snow, slush and wind that makes for some tough travel on this Thursday morning. We have team coverage. We want to start right away with the valley today's JC Dodd who is out in the elements this morning. JC, where are you and what's it like out there? Good morning, Jordan Phoenix. Yes, it is the same drill that we've had all winter long. I'm here just outside of Dilworth off of Highway 10 and things have progressively gotten more aggressive this morning. That snow is getting thicker here. Now we haven't gotten all the inches that we've seen in eastern uh, Minnesota, but there is still some snow covered. It's especially accumulating on this grass, but these roads are slick, so they're not completely snow covered where I am here on Highway 10, but they're slick. They're icy and that wind is one thing to battle with. I cannot keep my hood up. My eyes have been and watering all morning long. That's just because it's tough travel. It's another tough travel day. My morning commute this morning was very slick. Those the interstates were um, did ha they were treated, so they weren't terrible. But once you get onto those secondary roads, that's where you're going to run into even more trouble. So slick roads. Make sure you give yourself time um, between you and the car in front of you because it is very slick coming to a stop. I kind of. Um, slid into a stop earlier this morning. So you've got to slow down. You've got to be weather aware today because right now we've gotten a little bit of break of the wind, but that snow, it's painful. It's not fun to be stuck in. So make sure you're weather aware, be safe and take your time out on the roads this morning. Very good advice, JC. And thank you so much for being out there in those elements for us and for all the viewers at home. And it is very important to be very careful. I almost slipped actually on my walk to the garage this morning, so it's 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 real. It is a slick morning out there and tracking that weather system that's bearing down on us right now. Meteorologist Lisa Green, she joins us. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Day two of our wintry weather and day two of our first alert weather days. That wind has been a problem. It's been the theme overall and interspersed in that is the snow and that scattered snow continues where JC is in the FM Metro and the main band out to the west this time this morning. We're looking at Langdon, Devil's Lake picking up the snow down toward Jamestown and Allendale where we're seeing our current band of heaviest snow into southeastern North Dakota as well. Zooming in on the FM Metro, we're adding another round of it. JC was mentioning it's starting to pick up there where she is and this is moving in again. A reminder, this is all moving around an area of low pressure to the east, so we're seeing that wind and the snow coming in from the north northeast, so this is moving in right now. It's a little quieter down toward Horace and uh, the uh, West Fargo area, but that's going to be changing as we see this next round uh, moving through the metro and similar situation anywhere else in the valley as we make our way through the day. This low, a big one stretching from the plains to parts of the eastern part of the Great Lakes, and uh, we're looking at that rotation around it again. North, northeast, the wind is moving in out of that direction, and it continues to be on the strong side. We're looking at winds gusting into the 30s and some 40s this morning. 44 in Jamestown, 37 in Fargo, Augusta 32 in Grand Forks. It's a little bit easier, a little lighter than last evening where we gusted up to 60 miles per hour in Cooperstown, but it's still strong and we'll see that wind pick back up today. So it's not done with us just yet. Want to give you that warning here and where that wind and snow combine, our visibility is down one to two miles out to the west and other places seeing visibility in that two to three mile range. Right now in Devil's Lake, Fresh coating of snow. Looks like we just had a vehicle pull into the parking lot at Home of Economy there along Highway 2. And those are some areas in the west where we picked up our latest coating of snow here uh, with temperatures in Devil's Lake below freezing. In fact, we're at 28 degrees, one of our coldest temperatures on the map here this morning. Bemidji's at 29. Fargo, Jamestown both reporting some falling snow and so is Devil's Lake. So. If the school isn't delayed or canceled for you today, you're going to want to send those kids out here uh, with their snow gear throughout the morning and around 8 o'clock. We're looking at temperatures right at the freezing mark. Winds will be strong eventually this afternoon heading home from school. We're looking at windy conditions with the snow is ending. Temperatures coming up just a little bit getting into the mid 30s and that may be a difference maker for whether we see snowy roads or slushy to even just wet roads here for this afternoon. What doesn't ease up through the day is this the wind. We continue to see gusts throughout your, your Thursday into the 40s, even picking up to maybe 50 miles per hour by 4 o'clock this afternoon, getting close there in Fargo. Winter weather advisory remains in effect until 1 o'clock this afternoon. The high wind warning lasts longer because of the longer winds that we'll be dealing with. We're looking at that in effect until 7 o'clock tonight. Get some sunshine, though, back for Friday and into this weekend. So things do get better. But again, today you're going to want to be careful, especially out on those roads, Jordan. You sure do. Let's get a check of those roads. Lisa, thank you.
this morning. We continue our team coverage with that. I wanted to point out where JC was. You saw her just a few minutes ago. She said in Dilworth, and that's one interesting thing. Taking a look at our map right now, right here where I'm labeling it uh, is Fargo. I got it real zoomed in right there we are. And then in Dilworth, just outside of the Fargo-Moorhead area, we are talking fully snow covered roads. That's exactly where JC was. She said the snow was hitting her face. Her eyes were watering from it. So you need to be careful if you are out there, especially uh, if you have to head to school this morning for DGF or Moorhead popular road there with Highway 10. Zooming back out though now, we're also experiencing some fully covered roads along Highway 10. A holly on over to Detroit Lakes around the Otter Tail Battle Lake region as well. And then zooming out a little bit more, Ada Bore up Twin Valley, that area also dealing with some fully snow covered roads. Same with Thief River Falls. This is where more schools are delayed this this morning, so you need to watch out. Let the crews clear that before you head out. Taking a look at North Dakota here, if I can get that map to load, we are dealing with wet on I-29 from all the way Canada down to South Dakota. Temperatures hovering around freezing. That can turn to ice real quick. Make sure you're careful. I-94, that's a whole mess of things. We have ice by Jamestown, snow by Valley City, and then West Fargo to Valley City. We are talking about wet conditions. Devil's Lake Basin, we're also talking about fully snow covered there as well. So basically, from half of the state, Bismarck, Mandan, on east, you're dealing with something on over there, whether it is uh, wet, slushy roads, icy roads, or snow covered roads, this map is picking up all of it in every single county in our viewing area, it appears. So make sure you are careful when you head out the door today. Phoenix. Jordan, you are right, and those bad roads are also impacting some schools today. Today, that snowy weather is delaying the start of classes for about a dozen schools in the valley. We've heard from districts in the Northern Valley down through Lakes County, and all of them are on the Minnesota side. There also may be snow on the ground, but the state of Minnesota is getting ready for severe summer weather with statewide tornado drills. It's all going to be happening today. The National Weather Service and local agencies are doing two tornado watch warning drills as part of the Severe Weather Awareness Week. Now, you got to listen for them. They're going to be happening at 145 and 645. The U.S. Senate is poised to make history today by confirming Judge Kentanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. She is also but uh, guaranteed to win the confirmation and would be the first African-American woman to ever serve on the high court. The biological mother of three children at the center of a sexual abuse investigation says the foster care system failed her family. 23-year-old Wyatt Clark is now charged with criminal sexual conduct, allegedly involving three children under foster care. Court documents say Clark admitted that he could not control his urges with the children and said the abuse went on for more than two years at the home of his mother, who was the children's foster care provider. Jackie Black's five children were taken in back in December of 2019 due to her drug use. Four children were placed at the home of Sheila Clark. That's where Clark's son Wyatt lived. Black is asking for an investigation into the White Earth Reservation's Indian Child Welfare Department. Now we have more on this story on our VNL News app. The Traverse County Sheriff's Department is awaiting autopsy results on a man found dead in Browns Valley, Minnesota. They were called to a family disturbance Tuesday night, but before deputies arrived, a man said to be under the influence of drug or alcohol left the house. His body was found a short time later. A Moorhead mound is on the ground in Poland helping Ukrainian refugees. Mark Lindquist has been there for about a week now. They say that the first family that he and other volunteers escorted out included an 11 year old Ukrainian girl who was shot in the face by Russians while trying to escape with her mother. However, Lindquist was there when he was reunited with her father, and he said it's one of the most touching moments he's experienced. You can follow his journey on the VNL News app. Well, the day show and CBS Mornings, they're just about to start. But the Valley today, it rolls on. We have more live up to the minute news and weather coming up for you right now on the Fargo CW. That's where we continue our team coverage of this first alert weather day. Stay safe and have a happy Thursday.